Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about uh, font sizes. Font size uh, controls how big the text appear on your screen and on a printed page. It is important for us to uh, know the size of the font that we're going to be used for the paper for a lot of reasons. For business, for school, uh, for flyers for headlines, main headline, um, or what uh, uh, your professor, instructor is requesting. So um, we're just going to go over here. Uh, this is basically a basic flyer that I've designed. Um, I wouldn't even call it design, but I'm trying here to demonstrate for you guys. Anyway, um, as you could see, could you imagine that you have bordered the uh, page and you colored it and you put the party, the name of the party with the same size, which was which is 11 right there, the size, 11 points. Could you imagine you left it that way? Nobody will pay attention to it. However, if you increase the size, size of the party, the name, right there. You could increase it two ways and decrease it also. If you want to decrease it, you could click right there. I would click Control Shift arrow to the, uh, to the left. Um, if you would decrease it, increase it, or you could select the number, number which usually you're comfortable with, and you could select the font that you're comfortable with. And let's say we're going to select this font and we're going to start manipulating the numbers now. Look at that. Now we're going to increase in the, in the, um, the size. And look at that. It's captivating. The name of the party is captivating now. And now people will pay attention to that and say, okay, what is this all about? And they'll pay attention to it. Of course, this is a not professional example. Let's go with my, what Microsoft has designed. Now, look at this design right here by Microsoft. Um, look at the your club's name. It's 23. If we look at let's celebrate, 28. Look at the main is 105. So the main always the one that has to be the biggest to for people to pay attention to what is the purpose of the party or or of the event now let's go to more of a, a business or a resume let's say a resume look at that the main the main text which is your name it's the biggest you could see here it's 36 if you look at the content is 11 However, the headlines always bigger, 24. Why? Because you want people to pay attention that this is not, uh, this is a headline, and this is the content of that headline. So basically, you need to be aware of the fonts. Now, as far as the school works concerned, you need to check the rubric, you need to check the syllabus, you need to. Con uh, 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 email the professor and find out uh, the right font and the right size uh, that the professor would like you to use. Um, this is very important. Um, usually for business, business work, this is a business, this is supposed to be a business proposal. As you could see, usually they use um, 12, the size, usually they use um, 10. To 12 I use 12 uh, all the time 12 points because I wanted it to be readable and I wanted it to be people to be comfortable as they read it and they use um, Times New Roman or Arial Arial usually is used for um, uh, online if you wanted to keep the text online and Times New Roman for printed pages if you are going to use a footnote or endnote for your document, uh, it's uh, recommended 
to, for the footnote to be smaller than the body text. This is the body text. And if you have, a, let's say that this is a footnote. And you type, 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 type. And this footnote right here should be less. Then people will pay attention that, wait a minute, why is it different? It's going to be a footnote. And uh, this is basically it for this video. If you like it, please click, uh, click like. And next, we're going to be talking about font style. And I'll see you next time.